So I want to share some concepts with you on how to longline horses, how to get them further out in front of you, more in that driving position. I just want to see if I can do some things like wrap this around back her legs, take her here. Can I give her a little rub there on her back legs with that? Can I take this over? What does she think of even just something silly like this, flipping this up and over her head? And by now she should have all this, you know, this shouldn't be the issue. Eventually, can I flip it now to the hindquarters? And, and, what, and the ingredient I'm just checking is can they go around here and how friendly can they be with this rope just going all over? I'm going to slow myself down by holding that rein, slow it down, down to the stop, and then see if she can put the slack in there like that. Then I can open my hands. From here I can flip this one over, flip this one over, and go back to neutral. And that was a nice stop. Very accepting. She understood the communication. Don't get into just reefing, that old term, reefing or pulling. Don't do that. Set your hands, hold, and then just slow your body and have that boundary that you've set by your hands. It just slows down. Just as if I'm marking off a circle here. Then I'm going to have a sweet spot in my mind over by those cones over there and see if I can use a little driving in, inside rein here to ask her to step over sideways and see how I have to balance the reins to get it done. Now she tries to scoot forward there. Remember she's never done this before so I've got to give her that time to sort it out. But by having gone to this sweet spot before this will help her root that lesson she learned in before hopefully to this lesson. So balancing my reins. Now on that one, <laughs> that a girl, that a girl. You start, you're seeing me do these things with horses that haven't done it and the reason for that is because this is going to happen to you. I didn't rehearse this, I didn't try this with her at all. I really want you to get this and how to develop it. My goal, remember, was some sideways. Virtually no sideways happened. She went forward, back, forward, back, kind of wiggled her way in there. Very, very little if any did. That's okay. I just need to finish in that sweet spot. And I'm just showing you a little bit further down the road, but this is why these are so fun, so much fun these things to do in this driving because you can become creative with it. You can start asking more of your horse. It's a whole different dynamic and different position. So can I get him to weave through these cones? And give him a place to go. Put a bow bend into the left and then go to the left. And this is, remember, it's an advanced exercise. There it is, right there. Take those couple of strides and say, ah, oh, good job, Quince. Let's go for another little canter. I'm gonna wash that away. So I can practice some quicker transitions here. I'll shorten them up. I'll come around to the same location on the fence and do exactly the same exercise. Here he's trying to take my line a little, so I'm just going to drive him to my left a little. He thought he was thinking circle. So I'm going to get him to go, push, and oh, Quince. I wasn't even looking for that much, but he was willing to put the effort in. 